everybody, I have another book for you today. This one is Escape to Shakespeare's World by Good Wives and Warriors. I previously showed you the Alice in Wonderland book that I had um, by Good Wives and Warriors. They're fantastic little books. I'm going to have to find out if they have more. These are new to me, so I'm sure they've been around for a while. They're nice quality, heavy duty books. They got a lot of pretty foiling on the covers. And um, just beautiful books. Let me start flipping. So, get the binding going. And this is all stuff in Shakespeare's world. Oops. Theaters. Romeo and Juliet. I love when they do pages in the black like this already. They are off-white, double-sided, non-perforated. But if you wanted a page to pull out, you could definitely pull this apart because it's sewn in. I would say some of these pages are good for beginners and some of these like this one. Oh, this dragon is awesome. Some of these pages are definitely more for the advanced colorist. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm still fighting this pneumonia for over a week now. I can't wait to color this dragon. The Capulets, <coughs> Montagues, all got the jewels. My Helen Ellison book will come in handy. Coloring all these jewels and crystals. Beautiful. Lots and lots of details. The Tempest. Oh, look how cool that is. Now I will believe that there are unicorns. I love unicorns. This is the um, only page that I've started. I'm happy with this so far. Um, mostly on this side of the book, I've used the brand new um, Black Widow Cobras. I have a, um, a video I'll post up there for you guys. Um, their colors, look at them, and they're fantastic. And then I have um, these. From here on is the um, Cobras, and then these I, I used Prismas. Because right in the middle is starting, I got the <laughs> I got the Cobras, and I just wanted to try them out. So I've been using a lot of them. And I like how the colors are popping off that black page. Hamlet, here we go. To be or not to be. That's very creative. Beautiful. A lot of work in this page. It would be so beautiful when it's colored in. The paper is nice quality. You can hear it. Really nice paper. It's not thin at all. Midsummer's Night Dream. Ooh, that's way too much going on here. I know it would be pretty colored in, but for my eyes, ooh, I don't think I could do that one. This page is beautiful. I'm thinking about to, back to high school on, on all my Shakespeare stuff that we had to do. Gorgeous. I love it. I hate spiders. Absolutely hate spiders and bugs. Woo! of errors. Cool space pit. Macbeth. Ooh. 
sounds like they want to. Double, double, toil, and trouble. Fire, burn, and cauldron, bubble. Love that one. Ooh, I'm gonna color this one. This one's gonna be awesome. Really, really cool book. <clears throat> Anthony and Cleopatra. I've read all of these. I'm sure most of y'all have. Too busy, definitely not my thing. Richard the third. Kingdom for a horse. See, this page is amazing to me. This one is, um, right here is Ryan. And y'all know my name is Ryan, it's girl 93. That's my husband's name. His name is Ryan. So, I've just, and then, of course, 93 is when we met. <laughs> so, I've had that name for quite a long time. Um, so I love anything that has to do with the stars and Orion, so I will definitely color that page. Orion the Hunter. Julius Caesar. Twelfth Night. All's well that ends well. And that's it. Really cute book. The spine looks like a lot of foil in here. I apologize for the light. It's middle of the day, but it is pouring down rain here, so it's very dark outside. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? Please subscribe for me, it really helps me out. Um, if you have any questions or comments, put them down at the bottom and I'll get back to you. And thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.